What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So as you see on the screen right now, 92 overall Tevez. We finally have our hands on this card. He is currently extinct, so I've been waiting so long. Not for someone to message me, but just to be trying to snipe this card. And it's been impossible. But I want to say a big thank you to my guy, Fluffy Gaming, for allowing me to obviously hop on his account and review this card. So his Twitter will be in the description. Please hit him up with a follow. But let's get straight into it. 92 Tevez, 90 pace, 92 dribbling, 90 shootings, 94 physical and 84 passing. Honestly, I would just try to increase that pace or passing. Other than that, he looks ridiculous five foot seven he's one inch below meta height but at the same time it's not gonna matter high low work rates now i do prefer high medium but high low is not the end of the world the four star skill moves is gonna allow me to do the berber and obviously the sign is scoop turn which should feel nice on him he's also got a four star weak foot which means if i cut onto that left foot that shot should be flying into the back of the net now this guy actually packed him he's untradeable and that right there is insane at pack clock. But he is on an engine chemistry style. He's obviously on 10 chem. 98 acceleration. 92 sprint speed. A very, very fast player. That will be outpacing uh, center backs without a problem at all. 91 attacking positioning. 91 finishing. 95 shot power. If this guy can't finish inside the box hole, oh, I really don't know what to say at this point. 84 long shots, 86 volleys, and 84 penalties. He's also got 90 vision, 85 crossing, 87 free kick accuracy, 94 short passing, 87 long passing, and 84 curve. You really can use this guy as a cam if you really want to. His passing stats is definitely not a sorry, a passing stat that you get from a striker. It's ridiculous. Now, he's got 94 agility. 94 agility. 99 balance, 92 reaction, 97 ball control, 99 dribbling, and 97 composure. If this guy's not turning players inside out with those dribbling, I, I really don't know what to say. Now, one thing I have noticed from these cards is why has all these cards got like low stamina? 80 stamina. This guy's not going to be lasting throughout the whole game, and that is probably the biggest problem on this card. He will last till like the 70th minute, but at the same time, I don't know, man. If for a player that is currently extinct going for 650k, I kind of expect him to last throughout the whole game. 99 strength, 99 aggression. This guy's going to be causing centre-back so many problems. Going to be fighting for the ball. Going to be winning 50-50s left, right and centre. And will be bodying players. That, as a striker, is something I did not expect from my person that is 5'7". Now, today I have linked him up with Mac... Macalster? I think it's called, but... You understand he's off cam, but the only reason I got him off cam is trying to get a super link to Tevez to get him on full cam. I will sub him off, but most likely for Rashford. But then I've also got like the Ben Yedda, Rijkaard, and Wijnaldum in the team. I will be using Tevez in a full 4 2, playing him up front with head, uh, sorry, Shapeshifter Ben Yedda, which he also packed. There will be problems, EA. There will be problems. Anyway. But I do want to try uh, Tevez in a lone striker role. So we will be trying him in a 4-2-3-1 as well. But let's get straight into these games. What a turn. Get into there. Use that strength. Oh, just couldn't get the finish. It was really nice for my opponent there to call out the keeper. I must say he's giving me the ball. You can't give me the ball like that. Let's all be fair now. It's simple as that. He's made a big mistake. Tevez is in the right place at the right time. And that's going to be an easy finish for him. So let's see how Tevez feels on the ball. Look at that. Look at this agility. That is unbelievable. And he's got like a bulky body. Like you can really tell he is obviously strong. That's unbelievable. I'm going to go for the finesse. <gasps> I honestly thought that was about to finesse into the far corner there. And I would have walked out of this room 100%. Tevez, quick heel to heel. Use that acceleration. Little fake shot to get the angle. A cross goal shot. It's an unbelievable finish. Completely sending my opponent the wrong way with that heel to heel. And he used that acceleration to its best there. That fake shot around the corner. Unbelievable. And he's got the little tape around his uh, uh, around his hand, which I love. From Moza Tevez. Take shot up. Half drag back. Little ball rolls. This guy doesn't know when to tackle. He doesn't know when to tackle. Oh, the chain skill moves did come into play. And obviously, you can clearly see that, you know, it, it wasn't great. 
when it did come into play. Now, this game is lagging quite a bit, so we have to obviously be careful. But that is a shot onto his left foot, and he's missed the whole goal there. A bit disappointing, I must say. I was expecting that left foot to absolutely rifle it in the back of the net, but he's it's it's done the complete opposite. That's an amazing run. I love Tevez's IQ runs. It's unbelievable. Go on. Oh, my God. I understand he didn't he didn't look very fast there. But at the same time, you have to understand that he was about to fight for that ball like there was no tomorrow. And that is one thing I am loving from Tevez. Fighting for the badge. And that's a beautiful goal. What I could have probably done better was actually pass to Ben Yedder, Thinking about it now. And probably going to just turn, uh, turn and shoot Ben Yedder. But Tevez was in a place where I could just simply take a touch and shoot it with his stronger foot. Which it was a beautiful finish. Use that pace, Tevez. Come on. Go down that line. Oh my god. You can't. You can't say anything. Right. I, it was the worst angled shot I possibly ever could have took there. But at the same time, can he... Oh, the left foot doesn't look great. I'm not going to lie to you guys. There's not a lot of power behind the shot with the left foot. There is accuracy. But there's like the power is just not there. It's easy to the keeper to save. But talking about the first chance, it wasn't the greatest angle. I did shoot very, very early, but he did amazing to get into the situation. Tevez just waiting for the ball. An unbelievable turn went for the outside foot shot, which I forgot to actually mention that he does obviously have the outside foot shot uh, trait, which is very, very overpowered. Get that fake shot around the corner. Get that acceleration going. Ball roll. Look at the footwork. Oh, my God. Go. No. That outside foot shot had such a big chance of going in, especially the angle it was at. But I tell you what, you can't. You really can't discriminate against Tevez's dribbling moves. It's absolutely ridiculous. The way this guy just dribbles in and out like there is no tomorrow is amazing. One more to Tevez. Turn. Shoot. Go for the Costco shot. I should have gone for near post once again. That's just me screwing up chances like there's no tomorrow. But great positioning from Tevez once again. Oh my god. Absolutely sending my defender. That he's a defender the wrong way. And what a finish this was, by the way. The angle, it was pretty decent. I got him in a decent angle. But the dip, it was like a it was like a dipper in a way. Look at this. It went hard, very high, then instantly dipped into that top corner fairly quickly. One thing I have noticed, they got that thing. I don't know. I can't remember. What, I, think, I think it's a uh, birthmark from Tevez. That is nice from EA. I didn't actually know they actually did the neck part, though. Go on, cheeky over the top. And that's exactly what you're going to get from Tevez. A player that can also pass. A little fake shot. little ball roll. Calm and composed as you like it. An easy goal. But I tell you what. That pass from Tevez. Unbelievable. Not a lot of strikers can make it literally be on a plate for Ben Yedda. I, te I tell you. Sometimes I do worry if that pass is going to go too far wide. And Tevez, he's got it in the locker. Tevez, little fake shot around the corner. Bull roll the keeper. Wow, he didn't die for that. That is unbelievable. But you can see how comfortable I'm starting to feel with Tevez. The way I'm just trying to bull roll keepers. The way I'm doing all these fake shots around the corner. He feels super, super nice on the ball. And he's so easy to get used to. Use that pace. Come on. There you go. Look how fast he is. He is ridiculous, honestly. He can dribble. He's got the pace. He's got the shooting. What else do you want from this man? Oh, my God. The AI slide tackle there. And that is a dirty AI block. Little hill to hill. Come on. Get the ang. Oh, my God. Holy crap. That was probably the worst power shot I have ever seen in my entire life. That was so bad. What the hell? What happened there? That's ridiculous play. Fake shot. Get the angle. Go for the finish shot. It's unbelievable. It really is. The link up play between Ben Yedda and Tevez there was ridic ridiculously good. But I tell you what. The calm, composed Tevez going around the centre back. Then fake shotting because he sees the keeper coming out right here. To just go for a top. Bin's finesse shot is unbelievable. That's insane pace by Tevez. Come on. Let's see what you can do here. Fake shot. Ball roll. Get into the angle. 
Drag back. Go back forward. Little footwork. Now that... Oh my god. Ben Yedder tackled. He could have took an easy shot, but Ben Yedder somehow tackled. Tevez did all that work so Ben Yedder can get a, a weird animation. Now, I'm not going to lie. wasn't the greatest defending for my opponent. I think everyone can agree with that. But at the same time, we can't take anything away from Tevez's footwork there. Nice. Really good acceleration. Fake shot around the corner. Then a fake shot on the spot. Sending my player the wrong way. Easy pass to Ben Yedder. And it should be an easy goal. It's simple like that. I like Tevez's movement there. Because he doesn't just stay central. He makes a run down the line there. And that is so effective. Especially with his pace. He's, uh, he's physical if someone obviously gets near him. And his passing ability. To just give it to Ben Yedder. Really on a plate. I understand Ben Yedder was at a 180 angle. But at the end of the day, if usually when you're at 180 angle, the keeper usually screws up. And that's exactly what happened. That's unbelievable. Oh my god. That complete teamwork kind of play there between Sane, Ben Yedda and Tevez was crazy, crazy good. I probably could have gone on a one-on-one -on -one chance with Ben Yedda looking back at it now. But at the same time... I needed... Whoa, what was happening to that camera there? I needed to pass back to Sane. Give, give it to Tevez because he... Especially on his right foot, he's not going to miss from there. That's unbelievable play. Go for a little cheeky shot. And as I said, man, Tevez on his right foot is ridiculous. He is not going to miss from there. 100%. Especially a near post shot at a good angle. It's pretty much a guaranteed goal. But I love the movement from the team once again to give it to Tevez and just go for an easy finish. So it is time to review him and let me say this card is something else. The way he moves, the amount of pace he moves with, the strength that he moves with is incredible. 5 foot 7, perfect height, high low work rate. It's not the perfect attacking work rate. I did see him most of the time. Trying to stand offside, which was a big, big issue. That's why I do prefer a high medium. And Tevez is not really one of those players that is going to be coming short a lot. So you obviously have to take that into account. And if you do enjoy playing with strikers that do come short a lot, Tevez is not really your guy. Now, four-star skill moves. The Burbishman was my favorite. He put his body literally in the way of the ball and simply just kind of outstrengthed the opponent outstrength the opponent that is trying to tackle me and that right there is insane now the full star weak foot didn't really feel like a four star at all at all i think actually i didn't score a single goal with that weak foot as far as i remember but obviously i might be incorrect but you know what i'm saying the his right foot was 100 percent the dominant foot and it clearly showed it Pace-wise, unbelievable. I loved his fake shots around the corner. Used his strength. He used his aggression to, obviously, if he did end up losing the ball, he would instantly try to fight for it back, which is a nice sight to see. Finishing with the right foot, unbelievable. Pretty much every shot went in. With the weaker foot, we have a big, big issue. Now, passing-wise, crazy, crazy good passing. The way he can go at 180 turns, do the over-top through balls, to do the link-up play, the one-twos. The link-up play between him and Ben Yedder was out of this world. Dribbling, he feels so, so nice on the ball. It is stupid how good he feels on the ball. He feels, he feels similar to Messi in a way, and that's how good he is. Now, stamina didn't last throughout the whole 90 minutes, and that is a problem you are going to have. But strength and aggression, oh my god. This guy was not getting bodied off the ball. He was fighting for the ball like there was no tomorrow. Now, I have to give this card a rating out of 10. I liked him. I liked him a lot, to be fair. I I'm, I'm going to have to give him a 10 out of 10. Honest to God. If it wasn't for his stamina and his weak foot time to time, this card 100% is a 10 out of 10. But... I don't know. Should I give him a 10 out of 10? Uh, it's between 9.5 and 10 out of 10. I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. It's simple as that. It, it, is this card worth 650k? 100%. But if you guys didn't do a video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.